Hello and welcome back to Let Supreme Ghost Thief. Today I am doing a little bit of a different type of video where I am editing out all the failed attempts and trying to show you a clean Supreme run, at least as Supreme as I can, uh, as clean as I can make a Supreme run. And uh, this is something that I've um, been requested to do a few times and thought about doing for a while. I just haven't found the time and figured out how to do it. Um, but um, I decided to do it this time. And um, this will not be a narrated run. And I will end up editing out probably about half of the video anyway, so the uh, narration would be incoherent at best. And uh, I guess I could do voiceover after the fact, but I don't have the capacity to do that. So I decided to do it like this um, this time. So please let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, let me know if you think I should do this uh, in addition to the narrated runs for upcoming videos. And uh, I will not replace this with the ones that I usually do. Uh, or if there are other missions that I've done in the past that you would like to see this for. Uh, any comments would be, would be good, any input would be appreciated there. Now when deciding which mission to do, I wanted to do a mission that warranted a replay. Um, and I thought about a few, but Galendra Cistern was not only the first video I released on my channel, but it's also been re-released for New Dark since then. In 2015, Antimatter 16 released it with a bunch of fixes, uh, with consent from Pura, of course. And uh, some of those fixes actually makes it possible for us to Supreme Ghost the mission. There's also a few um, improvements that I could have made previously that I just didn't know about, that I've been told about. Um, so we should be able to Supreme Ghost this mission and get quite a bit more loot. Now, since I'm not going to narrate, I'm going to go through the major differences right now between this run and the one I did previously. And I will timestamp in the video description uh, where you can find those differences if you just want to see those and not want to sit through the whole video. Although this one won't be nearly as long as the previous one. Uh, I will not do any uh, readables, I will not show you all the items and everything, it'll just be exactly what I need to do for Supreme. So it'll be sort of a Supreme speedrun, though it won't be speedy, uh, Supreme run. Supreme mode doesn't allow for that anyway, as you guys know, but at least it'll be a lot quicker than it usually is. So the first difference, number one, is we're going to hit the Art Collector's house right away. I've had some uh, trouble with the uh, safe at the top floor in the attic so in order to eliminate that I wanted to do that house first which means that we will get a couple of first alerts or not first alerts but settling remarks from the front door guard um, but those have been deemed okay for Supreme so that shouldn't be a big deal um, however that's not the difference in his house we can now take the key from the alcove behind the banner um, I was never able to return that key and therefore skipped it for Supreme but uh, now we can actually return it without alerting anybody and therefore take the 112 more loot from the two chests in his house. So that's one difference. Number two, the spiders in the observatory uh, can now uh, uh, patrol properly. They've been uh, reset and that whole place has been reworked, I think, where the one spider that used to be stationed <coughs> excuse me, outside the cage door is now patrolling and therefore will not alert to us picking the lock on the chest in there. That was one of the two Supreme busts we used to take. Number three, Adrius's head, when we take that from the chest, now makes the howl, uh, which it always did in Old Ark. So that has been re-implemented. Uh, that shouldn't make a difference because I always was able to avoid an alert with that, uh, but you never saw the howl last time I played it. Uh, so number four uh, is then when we have Adrius's head, we can actually bring that head manually back to Far Farkas's shop, place it on the counter, and feed it the dried frog like this. Uh, I never knew that. And that I could have done all along, and that saves us having to buy the dried frog for 125. So that brings the total loot um, increase amount up to 237. So that's the amount that we can increase the loot count for this uh, playthrough here. Number five, the Brimstone and Calendra fight in the shrine now happens the way it was supposed to, where Calendra automatically teleports to the shrine. Um, 
she doesn't walk over there. And the allies that they spawn, the zombie and the fire elemental, uh, they will disappear once Calendra and Brimstone die. So uh, there will be nobody left there after that fight, which of course means that we don't have to involve Adrius, which is very good, because that was always a very messy ordeal and didn't really feel Supreme-like, but it was the only way we could get through it. Now we can just go straight through there afterwards without worrying about anything. Six, and the last one, is when we've taken the Silix, I always, before, triggered the boulder trap in the staircase going back up. That we don't have to do because I was told you can walk along the very outer perimeter of the staircase and trick the game into thinking that you're, you're not on the stairs while you in reality are. And there's a very fine margin there, so I'm going to have to try that a couple of times, though you guys will only see the successful one. But we have to go very far on the outer edge for Garrett's center of gravity, I think, to be outside the perimeter of, um, of the stairs. So that's the second Supreme Must we used to take, so now we can Supreme Ghost the mission. Awesome. Um, one more note, I do, when I leave the party, I end up closing the gates that the guard is operating uh, when he is alive. Um, I do that because I had to open the gate manually at one point. You'll see that because some of the party guests were ending up uh, bumping into the gate without the guard operating it anymore. So I had to... Um, manipulate that situation, but I didn't get any alerts during it, so it should be fine, and I felt it was most supreme-like to close that gate then afterwards. So that should be it. Um, let me know also if, if it's um, skipping or uh, jumping when I've, where I've edited at some point. I tried to make it as frame-perfect as I could. I'm kind of a perfectionist in that regard, so let me know if you can detect where the jumps are, or if it doesn't feel like it flows properly. It should, but just let me know there if you think it's it's good or not um okay that's it hope you guys enjoy this and uh, i will see you guys back next time garrett i know we agree not to see each other but there's a party tomorrow night and you're the only man thief enough to be my escort hey who's there oh <clears throat> You heard of the Weeping Angel Tavern? It's near my new apartment on the south side of town. I heard the owner, Lady Calandra, is closing the tavern early in order to throw a lavish party. An elite few are invited, and among them a count seeking payment for his delivery of a certain ill-gotten relic taken by crime from swamps in the utter south. I don't know much about it really, but as far as the party goes, we're invited. I'll expect you in the Weeping Angel's wine cellar by midnight. I overheard there is a secret door there to the place the party is being held. As always, Mercedes. Oh, I think it's formal dress, so I'll be wearing black. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's a quarter past the witching hour, Garrett. What took you? You know me. Admiring the black hovels of humanity from the rooftops. Yes, well, I've already been down to the party and it's blossomed into a dark bouquet of aristocratic shadows. But don't worry, fed on wine, they'll wilt soon enough. They didn't even notice I wasn't on the guest list. <laughs> There's a guest list? I'll have to sign that. Where's the relic and what is it? A silix. Lady Calendra has yet to pay for it and already has it locked in some shrine. So, this is your little foray. How do you want to proceed? You hit the party like a feather. No one noticed me. But I'd still be careful. <laughs> what is this? Beginner's lessons? Mm, no, just a little information on how the party's brewing. Lady Calendra apparently has her townhouse well guarded tonight. I think there's some treachery afoot. Anyway, if you can find her... Let me guess. I lift her house key. Find the house that goes to it. Find a quiet way inside of the house. Locate the key to the shrine where the Silex is stored and make it back here by... Oh, say, one? Will you do what? I'll be lurking after information, of course. Her town home is through the southern sewers. I scouted them out. Once you have her key, go south until you reach a full cistern. From there, use this map to find the way. The guarded front door should ironically mark your target. I'll be watching for your return. Good luck. Chance. <laughs> Hail, brother in arms. Yeah, this is the more wine that what usually falls every day. What I have is a different name. Oh, one that takes all the light. Brother, and then there's the count. Can you believe it? <clears throat> Something smells of treachery. <clears throat> Hail, brother in arms! Could you <coughs> rather be sleeping, though? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
was only a matter of time before he left. So, he did leave a note in the tavern. Yes, the ungrateful wretch. Send someone to follow him. Did the Count ask anything of you? I think he's out in the cemetery plotting with his knight. How wonderfully satirical. Were their glasses sufficiently tainted? Bitter almonds do not often effervesce from a glass of fine wine. We may find them hung like scarecrows on the markers. Or closer to Earth. Shall I see whether it is done? Leave them to me. My hands already betray a halo of fire, in anticipation of their eventual end. Then, shall I spread their ashes with the rest? Later, yes. That is all now, Dylan. Leave me. Have you seen the carpet in this place? Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's better. You're not a party guest, are you, thief? So, not looking for some goods, are we? You know, I could probably help you some. But I think you must help me a bit more first. I suppose you noticed I'm feeling a bit disconnected? Anyway, I would really love to be reunited with my limbs. Help me and I'll help you. Take the remains of my body to the observatory and place them in a circle of red stone. Then we'll see what I can do. Seek them now. Bring with you the summoner stone. Listen for the sound of my voice echoing from the past. Go. Five endure. Water drenches my sides. Rats in the bull at my toes. Fire licks my fingers. And wind whistles on my chest.
And then there's the count. Can you believe it? Something smells of treachery. Not a chance. Yeah, let's get some more wine. That usually solves everything. Remember 
That usually solves everything. You get any of that pheasant tonight? <laughs> Eye of the night, Agua Watch. Open the moon, Fiat Ulux. Bring forth thy. Oh, bother. Just press that switch over there.
At least then I was meeting people. Too bad. It was good. Somewhere. Dead. I'll find you. Damn you.
から。Garrett, I think we may be in trouble. The Count and his knight are dead in the Larlock Society's private boneyard. What a surprise. You knew? Bad karma is nothing new to me. How did you get down here? I needed to warn you. There was a mage invited to the party, goes by the name of Brimstone. He was supposed to be an ace up Lady Calendra's sleeve, in case something went wrong with the Count. Turns out, Brimstone had an agenda of his own. 
He and our illustrious hostess had a harsh quarrel I couldn't make out, and both headed for the Silix Shrine. I have a feeling the two mages are about to end some latent rivalry that would have turned bloody long ago, were it not for sharing Lady Calendra's famously non-partisan bed. Why do I get the feeling I'm headed to the Shrine, and you're not? I didn't want to tell you at first. I had a tale on the way to the party. You damn well better be kidding. Sorry. I couldn't be sure. He was clever. I thought I shook him, but he's from the Downwind Thieves Guild. A nasty fellow they call Tommy Rot. I think he might have had a tip on my plans. Charming. So he's on the streets right now waiting for us to finish the job inside. And then he's gonna hit us from some alley when we leave? <sighs> Most likely. It's my fault. Just don't kill me for it. I'll go secure an escape route. Once you have the Silix, meet me on the streets outside Fegrim's courtyard. My new place is just north of there. The best route is to head south again through the sewers, and instead of going east towards Lady Calandra's house, head west. I'm afraid you'll have to get wet, but with luck, Tommy Rot won't be expecting the courtyard as a possible exit from Calandra's cistern. So, we're headed to your place, then? I thought this was strictly business. With a twist of vermouth and a pleasure chaser? An attractive cocktail. I'll see you near Fegram's courtyard.
I have been expecting you. Even as a student, you were always greedy for power. Now, my love, I will take the Silix. Where is your accomplice, fool? I found your note near the well. I need no accomplice to be done with you. And finally, I, I summon my, my friends, friends to finish you the off. Pleasure of finishing you.
the silix, a little candlelight, a little fruit and wine, best of all. It's pretty dark in there. Is that the same bed? Garrett, get in here. Since when has the darkness bothered you? It's lonely being a thief. I guess tonight, I'm the thief of hearts, which I suppose was my plan from the start. I don't like the design of the Silix anyway. It wouldn't match my decor. Besides, the way it sounds, we may have to deliver it somewhere tomorrow night. For now, I'll just let the city rot and enjoy the company I have. 